Hey, it's going to YouTube, so you know it's best here. This is another What's in My Doc video. I'm going to show you some of my favorite applications I'm currently using on my Mac right now. I'll leave all the links to these applications down below in the future if you want to download them. But the first application I'm going to show you is something called Snagit. This is a very nice screen capture tool that allows you to capture whatever is on your screen and also edit those images afterwards. So once you download Snagit, uh, you can um, roll your mouse over here to the edge of your screen right here and just press this red button if you want to go ahead and choose your area that you want to capture. So by default, it'll want to capture the whole screen, but you can also drag this over and say you just want to capture your browser window um, or if you want to capture Tweety or your whatever other application window that you have open, you can do that. But say I just want to capture what I have open here at Google Chrome, simply click on my mouse and there it is, boom, saved and captured. Now this is where the fun begins. So say I wanna point out something in this picture before I tweet it out, uh, I can simply get this arrow button right here, say, hey, look at this title of this video. So now when they see this image, they can see that arrow. And also too, if I, for some reason, I, I don't want you to know that I'm soldier knows best here, I can simply use this blur tool and actually blur that out very easily. And uh, so this is gonna be good if you're doing uh, demos or sending out pictures of your email or something that may have people's phone numbers in them, you can use this tool. And it has different other effects that you can do, reflect Reflection and perspective and all that cool stuff, but I'm not gonna get into all that. So that's called Snagit. And then the next application I'm gonna show you is called Stay. This is be good if you have a lot of application windows open and you always like them to be in the same spot. Uh, you can uh, download Stay and simply hey, say, hey, I wanna store all the uh, uh, window, <clears throat> I want all my Google Chrome windows. Anytime I open up Google Chrome or I wanted to come back here, I wanted to be in this same spot. So I can say store all windows for Google Chrome, just like that. And also I can do the same for uh, Tweety here, store all active windows for Tweety. And so now if I can move this Google Chrome window over here to the corner, I can move Tweety all the way down here. But I say, hey, I want to get everything back to the way it was and back to the way I like it. Come and hit restore windows and boom, it'll pop everything back into the same place. So that's uh, a little feature called stay. And the next thing I'm going to show you is a brand new browser called Rock Melt. And it came out a couple weeks ago. I think it may still be in beta, so you have to actually request an invite for it. Uh, but this is a very nice browser that has your social networking built into it. So you can see here, I open it up, and it's based off of Chromium, so it's going to look and feel a lot like Google Chrome browser. Uh, but here to the left here, I have my little Facebook, all my little Facebook contacts there. And also to the right here, you have some more options here. But the Facebook thing is pretty cool. So say I got one of my friends here. So this, this guy right here, and uh, I can click on this, and you can actually see what's going on in his Facebook timeline there. And if you want to send him a message, you can write on his wall, or you can tear this off into another window here. So if you want to be access this a lot, uh, you can just tear that off in another window there. Um, so that's pretty cool. You can do that. You can look at all your Facebook friends like that. And also, if you click on your name here, you can simply type something. You can update your Facebook status right from here or send out a tweet as well. So this built-in Twitter client as well. And uh, to the right here, you can have a lot of different feeds coming from uh, like one of my favorite tech websites, Gizmodo. I can simply click on that. I can see their latest stories. And also Facebook feed, again, Twitter. Uh, like so, I can see everybody who's in my Twitter timeline as well by using this browser. And it's called Rock Melt. And again, I'll leave the link down below here. But it's another quick video just showing you what's in my dock here as far as my Mac applications. Any cool applications that you may want me to check out in the future that you want to talk about, leave a comment down below. And remember, my soldier knows best uh, iPhone applications in the iTunes store right now as well. Download it and enjoy it. I'll leave the link down below as well. Again, thanks for watching this video. Now we'll catch you later. Peace.